guys welcome back to another vlog i hope you're doing amazing today i truly am more productive when i'm actually vlogging because i already went to the gym did my laundry i cleaned the apartment for you guys i like, somewhat cleaned it i'm off to a co-working session with some friends actually in the village i believe in the west village uh, one of my favorite neighborhoods so i thought that i would show you guys around yeah we're just going to be co-working for today but also i do need to get my analog camera serviced it works but somehow it ejects the film all the time so i need to just get it checked and see why it's broken like that film photography was a pandemic hobby that i just you know pandemic purchases <laughs> so i actually started off with this one which is the canon ae1 it's a very beginner friendly camera but also this one i got which is the olympus super zoom 105r like 105r when it worked i actually really liked it because you can actually just put it in your purse and then you know take casual photos when you're out co-working with friends for example the other one is just way too bulky so i never actually take it with me it's just so heavy as well so today i'm just going to be yeah running some errands also my friend suggested that we go to a comedy club tonight and i've never actually gone to a comedy club in new york before and i've always wanted to go so i'm super excited so i'm just gonna eat something change my violin strings and then we're gonna head out i mean if you guys have seen my string changing video you know already but i usually use these ones the peter infelds by tomastic infeld those strings i bought myself i did the giveaway with my own money but then one or two months later they actually messaged me and were like hey can we gift you some strings and yeah that's that's what's happening so they also sent me the rondos and they actually asked me to test them i don't like to change all four strings at once on the violin i like to do two and then maybe a week later i did two two different ones the other day i strung up the wrong ones they sent me the dominance as well and I strung up two of them. So I'm gonna do that, we're gonna eat something and we're gonna head out and get some work done, go to the comedy club. It's gonna be a fun day, let's go. First of all, how freaking cute. Okay, never mind. So, so one thing that I've been eating a lot these days because I love fruit, okay? I literally have a bunch of frozen fruit like I have I have every kind of fruit you could want I, I have a, a bucket of grapes in a kimchi bucket <laughs> so I love fruit and I love frozen fruit in particular because of the consistency also it's like it never goes bad so you can also throw it into smoothies and stuff like that but actually the way I like to eat it the best is like this okay, I'm out of mangoes yeah, I just really love fruit, so. So I'm editing this video right now and breaking news, I love fruit. I think you guys get the message. <laughs> I don't cut out any type of food out of my diet. Um, only the foods that I actually don't like eating so much, like scallops, I guess, I don't really like so much. I loosely follow a ketogenic intermittent fasting type of diet. I actually feel great on that, so that's why I stick to it. Just putting that out there. You can love it or hate it, I don't care, it works for me. <laughs> I always feel like food is a very touchy subject, so that's why I don't really like to talk about it too much. But if you guys want to have like a what I eat in a day, let me know. But um, yeah, it's just there's always people judging. But if it does help someone to feel like fit and balanced, um, because that's how I feel, then I might consider doing a video like that. Anyways, the most important ingredient is a nut butter. So I personally love tahini. It's very high in protein as well. So it's very good for like the start of the day as well, like first meal type of thing. Or at least that's what the research said that I found. <laughs> I'm not a nutritionist, but yeah, I usually like buy three of these at Trader Joe's, like every time I go to grocery shop because in one week, I'll eat one of these. <laughs> like you'd really want some of the fatty stuff, in my opinion. That's where the flavor is, in my opinion. So yeah, I usually take like about this much. Or also almond butter is very good as well. And then you add in your ricotta cheese, maybe, maybe dollop like this. Sometimes, if I'm feeling very adventurous, I even crumble a tiny bit of feta cheese in there because I don't know, the salty and sweet, like it's so good. Oh god, some people are gonna judge me for it. <laughs> it's fine, some of this. And finally, oopsie. I prefer maple syrup because I'm absolutely obsessed with maple syrup, but honey is what I have right now, so 
that's what it's gonna do. And then you can also get creative, you know? I ran out, but oat milk is very good on this. And here you have it. So there's mango and everything in there. Sometimes I do like to add a little bit of oats or cereal on top, but today I just felt like this is gonna do the job. Also, how cute is my bowl? Yes. <laughs> that I have um, if you ever feel like you're tuning with your pegs and the peg just simply won't go in properly it's kind of just logical but you gotta press from the other side to make the peg in go in properly okay so if you think that holding it down here and then you know turning the pegs is going to make it really be in there it's probably not gonna be what I like to do is really like give pressure from the other side especially the peg that's on the other side so like I push here that way it's really like making its way in there same thing when you are tuning with your pegs like this most likely it's just going to loosen itself but if you actually push from the other side chances are your pegs are really going to stay in there yeah i'm probably going to do a tuning or like intonation type of video um i just need to get into it my learn with me violin tutorial series is just a lot of work <laughs> so i always kind of it takes a lot of work, so if you tune the G and D strings, this is the view on the other side. If I tune the A string, this is what it would look like. And then this would be on the other side, so I would be having a counter pressure here. So yeah, always have another finger on the other side so that you can really put your peg in there and it stays. <laughs> This is saying congratulations again to your test yesterday. <laughs> okay, do you work? Let's get some work in. Yes. yes. Are you showing me insider tips? I guess I am. Uh, behind, the, behind the music. It's my vocal comp. <laughs> Ryan's also an amazing musician himself, so definitely go check out his channel. I'm gonna edit this shifting tutorial today, and then it's gonna be released hopefully next week. Thanks, Ryan. They don't have Wi-Fi actually. Really? Yes. Do you think you're more I don't know. Okay, so we're watching tennis. So, 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 so,
relatively more mild. For the comedy, that's exactly what I expect. Yeah, and I honestly feel like that's exactly what we need at this end of the week because we had a really intense work phase and now we get to celebrate the weekend. I'm so happy. Yeah. Guys, have your dress ready. You guys, have your dress ready. You guys, have your dress ready. Right now. Also, did you choose the hobby place because it was close to the comedy celebration? Yes. Like this area. Yeah. How was the comedy show? One, one to remember. I had a great time. Funny <laughs> hard. Oh wow. The fish that you picked on? Yeah, yeah, make sure you get that. <laughs> Apparently you're not supposed to eat the head or the spine and the little bone. But what a but waste! But you not ate all of them. Or tried to. I mean you just bite into it, it looks very good. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Don't even eat the whole Eat it, take a bite, I <laughs> dare you. <laughs> the biggest bite ever. Yes. Insanely good. I know. I can't wait to begin. You guys, something embarrassing happened. Um, so we got kicked out of the comedy cellar. A special guest came on, Amy Schumer, which I was ecstatic about. I was trying to film to show you guys and share that moment with you. I didn't realize that there was a strict no recording policy. I should have known. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day and hope to see you next time. Bye.